Well, there you have it, guys. Newport for Harrogate Town 1. I mean, my God, what a performance from the boys. And what a rebound to the Saturday game against MK Dons. This is a new new video for myself. Welcome back to the Mike Green YouTube channel. Let's get into talking about the game. Right, so we'll go off the first 10 minutes. I thought, off the first 10 minutes, I mean, we dominated them in possession. And they couldn't get a sniff of the ball. It was like watching us play... MK Don's last Saturday. It's just this time we were the ones dominating, and I could tell off the first ten minutes I f we were going to win that game. I was saying to, to James and a few other lads, I was like, "This goal's coming! This goal's coming!" We had a few chances. Sansala blocked one off the line, but eventually our goal did come in the thirtieth minute. It was a penalty from that man Will Evans, slotting again, and to his goal tally. And let alone that, two minutes later down the line. We have another chance. Will Evans squares it across. Zanzar on the back post. Bang. 2-0. Two, two goals in in three minutes. I mean, absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've never seen a team so clinical in all my life. It's nice to see... It was nice to see Zanzar score as well. I mean, the guy's been ridiculed with injuries. And to see him come back into the team in his first start in about a year. And he's gone and scored, which is just insane for the guy. But yeah, following that, the last of the... The following that, the rest of the first half, I mean, we just dominated them. They didn't really look like getting onto the ball at all. I mean, yeah, they tried. I think that's that's the word you can use. They tried. It's just they had zero quality to get. They had zero quality to get them over the line. I mean, their starting lineup was like it's hard to describe it because Harrogate are usually decent. Like they're up there in the table. It's just they offer nothing. Like, Odo, who's usually good for them, just wasn't at the races. Jeremy Sivy didn't really offer much. Matty Daly, who's usually a good player for them, he tried, but also just couldn't offer much at all. And then, yeah, for the f that was about it for the first half. I mean, 2-0 in going into half-time. It felt like a fever dream. I mean, comparing that the performance tonight compared to the performance on Saturday, it's just day and night, isn't it? But yeah, let's get to talk about the second half. So we start the second half with a bang, and it's that man again, Ozanzala, with his second goal. It comes, the ball comes in. It's past past the penalty spot. I think it, the last touch for the assist comes off Matt Baker, lands at Zanzala, turn, bang, past James Belshaw, and that just seals the deal three 0 I mean, it was, it was just brilliant to see the team so kind of gone to see the team trying so hard. Like every play on that pitch today, worked their fucking asses off, and I can only respect that. And I'm proud of them today. Couldn't be couldn't be happier. It's what we needed. It was a well needed response, and Graham Cotland knows how to get a response out of his team. But what we need to focus on now is to not have to have a response. We got to keep up with these performances. I know Mansfield on Saturday is going to be a tough game, but you have to keep up your standards. If we play like we did tonight against Mansfield Saturday, then. There's a strong possibility we can nick the we can nick the win, but going further down the line, Harrogate made a couple of substitutions early on, subbing on Thompson, who's probably the best player by a country mile. They subbed on Muldoon, they subbed on Levi Sutton. It's just subbing on most of like the players to try and get a turn around before it was too late, but they subbed them on, and before you know it, the fourth came and is that man Seb Palmerhold and on for Sanzala. Takes it past one and just absolutely drills it into the bottom right corner. Class goal. And I mean, it just sealed the game fully. It was a brilliant goal from the guy. It was nice to see him come on with the energy he has. I, I agreed with him getting benched, to be fair, because he did look knackered in the last couple of games. He needed to be dropped due to the fact that he wasn't playing. I wouldn't say he was playing bad, but he couldn't work to his strengths because he was knackered. But you can tell the difference today. He comes on. He... he Adds that he in, he injects the energy you need up front to get a goal, and that's what he provided, and that's what he got. Another assist as well for that goal by Will Evans. I mean, two assists and a goal tonight for Will Evans looked good. Zanzala two goals. I mean, my man of the match personally is going to Zanzala just based off of the goals and to come back from injury on your first start to score twice against a team like Harrogate who were up in the playoff push is just exceptional. But it was unfortunate to not keep a clean sheet as Harrogate did get a goal back with George Thompson. Gets just inside the box and he drills it into the bottom left corner past Nick Townsend. Nick does get a hand on it, but 
too powerful at the end of the day wasn't really a massive wasn't really a massive negative to be honest i mean the game was pretty much dead and buried but it was, it's also nice to always get a clean sheet but i suppose you do need negatives from games to build on but other than that game ended 4-1 and at the end of the day could not be happier i think that puts us up to 10th in the league now which is exceptional i mean two points off the playoffs maybe three all i know is that we're up there and we're pushing if we can get someone on saturday then it's going to be exciting but yeah this has been the match reaction sorry i sound a bit ill because my nose blocked but hey what can you do we'll see you on saturday for the vlog and yeah make sure you like share subscribe leave a comment down below tell me what you thought of today's game if you've seen it and yeah up the county shabang